Well, daylight saving time ends this weekend when we turn the clocks back an hour on Saturday night. Many are looking forward to the extra hour mm. of sleep, but new research has uncovered a surprising risk linked to the time change. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on the study. Mm. This is crazy, yeah. but interesting. You know, there is going to be less light, and we know that increases the number of traffic accidents. But this new study from the University of Pennsylvania finds another reason why you might want to be extra careful after we turn the clocks back. Time to fall back, the end of daylight saving time means an extra hour of sleep. What could be bad about that? It's causing people to be more likely to act on those aggressive impulses. Penn researcher Rebecca Umbach did a study that found a 3% increase in the number of assaults that happen on the Monday after daylight saving time ends in the fall. We get the extra hour of sleep, which everybody appreciates, but we also did see that it was mirroring the um, increase in assaults. And the opposite was true in the spring when daylight saving time begins and we lose an hour of sleep. Assaults go down. People are less productive and too tired to act out. This was raw data from police departments. Yeah. Sleep is linked to everything from mood and productivity to weight and brain power. So you'd think an extra hour of sleep would be more beneficial. I was a little bit surprised that just because you have a little bit more energy that might make you more aggressive. And then there's this. A different study found your risk of a heart attack drops 21% on the Monday after we fall back with the end of daylight saving time. And on the Monday when we spring forward in March, the heart Heart attack risk goes up to 25%. We took city reported data from Philadelphia, Los Angeles, Chicago, and uh, New York um, because all of those city departments also report their data on a daily basis. Back to those police reports on assaults, the uptick only lasted a couple of days after the clocks moved back to regular time. And you know, there is another issue related to the time change, less hours of daylight, which increases cases of seasonal affective dif disorder, where people can feel sort of depressed. That can sometimes be offset with light therapy. Another interesting thing Rebecca found, mm -hmm. she said this idea that people get an extra hour of sleep uh -huh. is kind of a fallacy because they yeah. just end up staying up right. Right later. That's yeah. true. There it's you like, go. Oh, we got more right. time. We so need to stay, stay up. up. Yeah. Then there so goes that. got to be careful on Monday, though. People All can right. be a little aggressive. Okay. Good heads up. <laughs> Thanks, Good Steph. heads up.